moving on to the next uh, item, which is our ICT strategy. As Joe mentioned, we have got a new officer starting with us in October. So my suggestion would be that we ask for a report, obviously not straight away, given time to start next so we would look. Uh, we would ask for a report on our current strategy and by about, well, we've got February 2050 in house, that's not going to be on. Think. I mean, it's on our list, and I was asking, did, has anyone got any you know, alternatives or uh, areas they'd like us to look at? So, obviously, that still stands if there's an area you think might be a higher priority than this. Or yeah, sure. I, I just think that uh, that's the purpose of the assessment of instrument, isn't it? To bring, is to bring people's ideas and views out, and I think, uh, I personally think. Thank you. 
one agreement tonight that will be on the list on our very very list. Okay then, so in the last thing, future council I've got, which, which we are um, saying, um, asking for a report to be presented to us next year, would be something in February, just as an update. As a, it, it's an you know, it's an evolving process, isn't it? So get a report in February 2015 about where we're up to and that Discussed very briefly about spotlight sessions. I think that they work well with families and well being, given that we're being this up committee. We touched upon this last time, I think, where we said we were quite interested in having some spotlight sessions. How, how do the group still feel about this? I, mean, I am absolutely mindful that we've all got really heavy members who are often like to put forward a suggestion if it's not going to be many benefits. How, if we were to have a few. Spotlight sessions on specific issues. Should we keep that on our agenda? Yeah, is that okay to do? <coughs> so the next item is um, dielectric plan, and we've got a uh, who stepped in kindly the journal we just had to leave. So you all want to present a report to the committee and an island and questions or comments on the Thank you, Chair. Good evening, everyone. Uh, the next report I supply is the um, director of plan and um, report management report. This will be a regular standing item uh, to this committee um, to each commission that it meets. Um, the aim is um, clearly to update the uh, committee on the current performance against the transformation of and uh, it will go through a number of key areas. It will look at the, the plan and its uh, targets, plan's trajectory in terms of performance, performance tolerance levels, and indicating which other services responsible for delivering each target. In terms of the performance uh, to date, uh, the director of plan performance report, which is shown in Appendix 1, sets out performance against 19 outcome measures. Of the 19 indicators, 14 are related to the mean, which is our target to deliver. Two are related to amber, where there's some, um, some uh, concerns around delivery, but it's still more than our target. And three are, are rated red. Where an item is rate, uh, rated red, um, there is an action plan against those items. They're shown as appendix two, three, and four. Those relate to performance appraisals, substantial of supply paid, and the reduction in the issue of general inspection notices under the access. Do you have any questions or comments? Bill? I'm just trying to work out the difference between the target of getting the bills paid and meeting a 90% target from where we actually are. Um, the end of the year is 90%. Um, it's still puzzled as to why Paul still needs to be reported as falling in the summer months. Yeah, we were trying to help our small businesses and suppliers and help them with their cash flow and make sure we, we pay them in a reasonable time. Um, perhaps there have been improvements, but if you take TRD P07, which is a small medium enterprise within 10 days, uh, we've got uh, 
quite differences between the performance and the expected downturn. And I think the argument I put last time was we should be trying to meet a high rate of pain when during the course of the year, and so they have their cash flow and pay in business rather than trying to catch it at the end of the year. Thank you. Through you, Chair, I um, understand that um, there, has, there has obviously been a dip in the performance against this target, um, but I understand that that, that um, improvements in performance are expected in August and September 2014. In terms of the issue raised by Councillor Gilbert, clearly the payment of invoices to all businesses are involved, particularly small businesses, where there's a cash flow issue. To actually improve the overall performance around um, <coughs> payment of invoices, the um, the whole, changing the whole system to a, a purchase order in the first instance makes payment of those invoices much quicker. And we have actually improved our performance from 31% of our invoices and, and, and contracts paid through that way to 60%. In time, this will overtake the need uh, for the, the performance on this particular area. Thank you. <coughs> uh, two questions. One should be a quick one, but um, PRC 201, the implementation of Windows 7 and RS 2010 of the council, it's great, it's great, it's wonderful. 50 machines? Any? Any? Great, Chair, sorry, I haven't actually called the machine here through one board. I'm so sorry, TRC 201, the implementation of Windows, it's the top of the. The first one? Yeah, sorry, very first. It's the implementation of Windows 7 and RS 2010. I suppose that it seems it would hit that target. It's quite a low target, just 50 machines in, in a three month period. Uh, is, are we, obviously, you, you might have an excessive notice given it's green, but are we expected to increase that substantially? Why is that going to be by the end of the year? All machines. I, I don't think I can comment on the, um, on the uh, specific numbers because I don't think that's
I would like to reassure the pedestrians that this is a matter of um, high importance and we are continuing to drive the implementation of the organisation and central city. I'll make it one more thing. I think would it be possible then to get an update? I think we're on 16 now. Would it be possible to get an update in perhaps mid October to find out what the next two weeks is then? Yes, and, and at the next committee, we will, we will have a further report, but I'll, I'll make sure that something is, is circulated in mid October. That's really interesting. Thank you very much. Ms. Dealer? Performance and the measure of performance will be through um, an interview process 
not through performance appraisal, but clearly the feedback that staff have through all the processes one to ones um, will help and support them to understand their performance. Performance is measured through an interview situation, not by referring back to performance appraisal. Thank you. Bill? Um, I could just follow up some more about computing uh, in, in the layman. We've got four million pounds in the capital program for computers like business, which a million is spent according to the reports or laws. And then I have trouble relating that amount to what appears in the TCR 301 that Matthew was asking about. Because of course it's not just computers, it's also other wonderful things we have to buy. So I wonder if when the officer that's just coming into the post is coming into the post, we perhaps have an update on how what that money is being spent on. I know we've been told at some point machines will be bought and put in stock and released as they were needed, if I remember rightly, to buy a couple of hundred computers or whatever laptops. But there's a lot of other money in that IT budget and therefore perhaps we could have a note to us as committee members as to how the breakdown is how it's being spent, how it's planned to spend between now and whatever. Thank you, we'll make sure Set out in paragraph 351. <coughs> the table there shows that 
this stage, the area is greater than spread. Into a very detailed below, main component below, the lives and more stock shops. Initiative which I understand is what we don't like to count, and that's what we want to say the progress being made on that. It relates to an option to put forward in 2013 14. It's not in the limited of the Uh, because we thought that the council proposed about that in October or November. 